Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining something. So for HEVC, right, when you guys get the codex, this guy says apparently now he has a problem where the Premiere Pro does not recognize the video. Um, so I have a suggestion. So I'm not 100% sure if this will help with your situation, but I will try my best. So something I like to do, because the problem I have with Premiere Pro, right, um, is when I put the video in, just take a look at what happens. Do you see that? Like that glitching in the video? So it's around 40 seconds, so just keep that in mind. Okay. I'm keeping that in mind, so. Yeah, see that glitching? That it does not happen in the actual recording. Now, if I take a look, if I try to play the video, right? Hey guys! So it's around 45, 40 seconds ish. The video, and when you, whenever. See, you're... like, look, this is the problem. 40 seconds right and my video is for some reason it's still showing me with the box right and that's not how it's supposed to be it's supposed to be me reviewing the box of this product so that is a problem but i'll show you how to fix it and i think this might also help you with your black screen and i will show you how so this right now is the hevc file so that's the well it's, it's a dot mov file but it's also hevc right because it comes directly off of the my iphone so what you want to do, right, if you have Windows 10, um, you could open the file. Hey, guys. So play the video, like, through the HEVC. But um, what you do is you just drag to, to make it 000. Then go to Edit in Photos, Trim. So what this does, and then you're going to want to, you can save most of the video. All you got to do is trim a teeny, like, a one second of the clip. Click Save As. So do desktop or wherever you need to save it. But as you can see right here on the left, it says save as type MP4. So this changes the file format from MOV or HEVC to MP4. So click save. So it's going to take time, but let that um, run through. So yeah, what you should be able to do now is now that it's an MP4 format, it should help. Premiere Pro, you know, read it a bit more easily. And it also stops this kind of glitching because for some reason I have this problem where HEVC just, it just doesn't play the clip properly. See, I'm, I'm all the way at the end, like one minute in and it's still not playing the file correctly. So now let's wait for it to finish. So it's done. Close out both of these. So I need to find where it's saved. Give me a second. Where did it say? That's a question. Okay, so it actually saved on OneDrive for some reason. Anyway, so anyway, get a hold of the file. So I have it here. Trim. So it says the IMG underscore 1615 tr underscore trim. So that's when you know that's the correct one. So let's go back to Premiere Pro. So I'm going to remove this one out of here. So now I'm going to add this file onto here. So we import it. Let's add it onto our video. Let's drag it over here. So now you can see the video is playing properly. So now let's go back to where we had 40 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds, 35. Now you can see the video is playing properly. So what I find is that sometimes there is a little bit of audio glitching, but for the most part, it works fine. Sorry about that. So yeah, so once you once you make sure that you transform the video into from MOV or HEVC to MP4, that should most likely, I'm hoping, solve your black screen problem, or but with the problem of the Premiere Pro not reading the file. So as you can see right here, the whole video is playing as it should compared to before where, you know, it was only playing like it kept looping back and forth for some reason, which is really, really strange. Hope that helps. Let me know down below and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.